Today, we're going to discuss humanoid robot. Okay, so let's start with agility robotics, because like we were talking about who actually has the scale. And if you look at agility, this is their bot here, right? So you can see that they're very well designed for pick and place. So their goal is to just be pick and place in a factory. And the mm -hmm. goal was to create something very, very easy and simple. And um, and uh, so this is why they're already ready to go ahead and create this uh, and all that. So this is the pick and place. They go grab it. They move around. Um, they're very fast. So, you know, they can move quite quickly and they can actually have batteries that can last 72 hours. So that was the thing that they wow. do that everyone else 72 not, not that the battery will last 72 hours but they showed already that in a live conference the humans were all watching three bots working around they were able to get those bots continue to work for 72 hours i think it's still every four hours they have to go back and get charged for one hour so there it's not like they're like they don't have a massive battery pack but and they're they deployed in or, or piling in, in Amazon's uh, warehouses yeah. or other places. I've seen them there. Correct. Right? Yeah. Agility Robotics. You can see that's Amazon. They had an early partnership with them. And that's where they're at right now. So no need for hands. Doesn't really need to walk like everyone else does necessarily. Mm -hmm. And they actually don't have a lot of like autonomy or intelligence. They're just there to pick and place. So that's they're they're taking a very unique approach. They're very different. And mm -hmm. they're already ready to sell, you know, like that's their goals to get out there fast and sell with that model. So initially sure. we had uh, Boston Dynamics uh, Atlas that looks like this. And um, now this is much more in line with something that they would scale. They've shown that it's much more sleeker. That um, Now we don't know if this is, you know, how, how many they've created, right? This is just mm -hmm. to impress. It's a yeah. demo but it's very cool. So this is the new Atlas, the new Boston mm -hmm. Dynamic Atlas. And so they are definitely headed in this direction. Hyundai is a partnership of theirs. And so Hyundai is uh, the one who owns them now and they're gonna you know, fund them and, and have them there out as well, yeah. And uh, you know, Tesla is clearly progressed so quickly. Um, it's one of those things where everybody laughed at them when they first started this three years ago. And, but now look at where they're at today, right? This is. This is December, so this was four months ago, and it sure looks like already here that it's design locked. I mean, it's clean. Mm -hmm. You don't see you don't see any cables hanging out, um, mm -hmm. and it's got the right form factor to be able to do all movements. And of course, the most important things is the hands. And if you can see the hand movements, they've tested it. They can be used to fold clothes, and it's got finger sensors. So only a few of these mm -hmm. bots actually have some of them are removing finger sensors or some of them are adding finger sensors and Tesla decided to put them in there so they can have a lot more uh, skill to be able to even manage clothes and eggs in this case. So the next one that people think is kind of right up there as a competitor is Figure AI. Figure AI has raised 675 million actually and they have mm -hmm. um, significant funding and so you can see their progress. And they mm -hmm. showed off an LLM voice integration so let me share that with you. Um, this is what their bot looks like. Um, you know, it can actually, you know, it, it, I'll, I'll show you the actual um, video because it's actually important to watch this. Sanctuary AI, I just interviewed their CEO. Very interesting uh, what they're doing. So this is what Sanctuary looks like. They're in Canada. They're the ones that just in the last two months partnered with Accenture. They partnered with Magna 
And then they partnered with uh, Microsoft just a few days ago. So Microsoft is going to give them the AI. Uh, Magnus is going to be able to build the bots, pilot in their automotive uh, supply chain and invest in them. And then uh, Accenture will introduce them to companies to introduce them. So these guys are so focused on the hands. You'll see that they have not yet actually shown you the legs because the CEO said, we don't think that legs are that important. A lot of, you know, 90% of useful work is through the hands. And so that's what they focus on. They feel like they have the most advanced hands there are and they're focused on the intelligence. Um, and so that's mm -hmm. what their bot is um, showcasing here. You can see that it still has uh, large cables. So they're in generation seven of their bot, uh, but they're moving quickly. Every year, every 12 months, they create a new generation of their bot. So they're already in gen seven. So they've still got work to do, but, uh, you know, they're going to do this. Um, so he he thinks, um, he said, the CEO believes that they are ahead. And he believes, mm -hmm. what was very interesting was he said that we think that the very first company to get a thousand bots uh, mm -hmm. will be the leader. Okay, right. so that's Figure, that's Tesla, that's Agility, Sanctuary. The next one is Aptronic. And so there's, they're one of the sleeping kind of uh, companies out there. Uh, I really like their bot, you know, spend a lot of time looking at the way that the bot looks. Um, make sure there's something that you could feel connected to. It could, this is the partnership with NVIDIA. Uh, they're able to show that, you know, through simulation, through uh, teleoperation, they can enable them to teach the bot. Autonomy is something that many, almost <laughs> all these bots have been able to show that they can teach a bot to be autonomous after a little bit of training through the three ways mm -hmm. that I've explained. So that's um, Optronic and um, you can see that, you know, they do have legs, they can walk. Um, they've been able to show, you know, pick and place as well. So mm -hmm. they look pretty good. They look like you look at their form factor. They look like they're already again, basically, you know, again, design locked at some point. So that's right. Optronic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you've got one uh, X technologies. These guys are very interesting. His bot looks like you see that it's like covered and kind of a mesh mm -hmm. thing. They actually don't have actuators. The actuators are those, you know, metal um, kind of uh, the, 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 the machines that uh, that bend the fingers, bend the arms, bend the wrists and so forth. They use tendons and he wouldn't tell us exactly what what the tendons mean. But the purpose mm -hmm. is that it's only 66 pounds. And mm -hmm. it's the point is that you can be at home, work with you at home and it can't hurt you in any way. Mm -hmm. um, and so their purpose, their goal, and they already have pilots in the home. So he actually mm -hmm. is beta testing <laughs> this in the home. And so they're mm -hmm. basically just, that's why it looks this way. That's why it's got the eyes this way. <laughs> it's more pincers what do, what do on the hand in this case. It's pincers in the hand. It looks like um, a thumb yeah. and two fingers there. On the, yeah. It's yeah. not a full hand. So, no, no. But, okay, just to be clear, this is called Eve. This is their first yeah. bot. And it's, you see that's got wheels. But they right. are planning to, this is not the bot that they're going to make thousands of. And he's indicating he's going to make thousands of this next year, the following year. But look at this. Yeah. Even just the pincers is able to fold the the box at the top. The boxes. So, yeah. so they've got a version called Neo. The Neo has mm -hmm. humanoid fingers and hands, and it has humanoid uh, legs and feet. And so mm -hmm. that's the one that they're going to go full out. So the problem with the, the wheels... And the only sanctuary was the one that said, "Hey, we don't think that feet are necessary." Um, mm -hmm. They, but but the problem with wheels is that see how they're they're like it, it can it's it's bulky and it can't get in. Yeah, it can't go upstairs. And uh, right. you know how does it work in your home? And so this is just mm -hmm. um, this is not the form factor that they're going to go to the home. But you can see that that's how they designed it.